Hey guys, Les here, TRP Vlogs. Welcome to my event rental shop. Welcome back to the event rental shop. I want to get help? down to the basics this time a little bit. Um, we've been going off on tangents all the time and doing all these sort of things. So let's talk about the basics. Um, if you're an event person, if you're getting into events, maybe I, I've noticed a lot of bounce house people on Facebook groups recently. Um, but chairs, even if you're doing bounce houses, something else, if you're even a DJ, I mean, chairs are huge. These are regular folding chairs. We kind of keep them like this. And that's, again, going back to the basics, we want to show you how we kind of store them, keep them, um, wrap them, move them. Right now we have them on carts. As you can see, it's really easy to move around. You can tuck them underneath the racking if you have racking. And also, one tip is for these casters, the bigger they are, the better. Um, if they're bigger, they can go off on uh, rough ground, and even sometimes on sod if it's hard enough, and, and you won't be struggling as much if you have bigger casters. Now, right now we usually just wrap them with uh, plastic wrap. That's one thing we do wanna change. Eventually, we want to get a dedicated cover that's branded. We think that's going to look ultra professional. That's something we're adding this summer. When it comes, we'll show you. We're also strapping these. Typically, we do one or two straps. Sometimes, if you know we're going to rough terrain, we're going to put on two straps. Right now, we just have one. We actually don't use regular ratchets. We use a simpler kind of uh, ratchet, sort of like this. A, they're kind of cheaper. They're quicker. And this metal part doesn't damage the the chair stack or, or, or rip the plastic as much as kind of the typical ratchets might. And we used to use typical ratchets. We started using these. They're really quick to put on. Again, they don't uh, damage the chairs as much. Now let's talk about the chairs, basic chairs. I think the original, don't quote me on this. I think the original people that did these were, was Samsonite. But again, I don't quite know, but they're all roughly the same design for these basic folding chairs. Now there's a few brands, Lifetime brand has a different design, but you'll see this design all over the place if you're going shopping for event rentals. And this is kind of the best. It's really quick to fold up as you can see, you know, and they're fairly light. I think they're like six pounds each. You can grab a stack quite easily. And so that's, so that's four in my hand right there. And you can almost carry three. Just like that, you know, if you have a few to carry, you can't really carry more than three typically, um, but you know, you can carry six really quickly through the door or something. Again, they stack really easily. Now, I'll show you one quick little tip. If you're stacking these into a vehicle, into a van or whatever, again, you kind of want to roll it up on a ramp or use power to bring it up because you want to do as little hand bombing as possible. But if you happen to be hand bombing these, keep in mind, you always want to hand bomb um, kind of in this direction. So top to legs, it'll just lock into place quite simply. If you're doing it the opposite way, if you're doing it from this end, and I'll just kind of quickly show you, it's gonna get caught um, more frequently. Um, and it's not gonna sit, as you can see, I, I put it in, but it's not sitting quite right. So you always wanna load from kind of the, the headrest part of the uh, chair because that's going to make your life simpler and it, it seems almost to just lock in place uh, kind of naturally if you do it that way. Anyways, that's it about uh, uh, chairs. Quick, quick video. Hopefully that uh, kind of shows you how we're doing it. If you guys have tips on what you're doing in your warehouse, how you're storing, how you're transporting, we'd love to know. Take it easy. We'll see you later.